cathode ray tube. Discovery William Crookes discovered cathode rays when he was studying electrical discharge in gases, whereas J. J. Thomson discovered that the cathode ray consists of negatively charged particles called electrons. Production Cathode rays are produced in a discharge tube. Hence, the discharge tube is generally referred to as the cathode ray tube. The cathode ray tube is a partially evacuated glass tube with cathode and anode placed at the ends of the tube. A vacuum pump is used to partially evacuate the tube. The cathode is connected to the power source with the help of a clip. The tube is supported on a stand. It was found that electric discharge through gases took place only when the pressure inside the tube is lowered and the potential difference between the electrodes was high. To produce cathode rays, high potential difference of 10 kV to 20 kV is applied between the electrodes and the pressure is reduced to 0 0.0001 mm of mercury by means of a vacuum pump. A glow is seen on the walls of the glass tube. The bright fluorescence glow is due to the striking of the rays emitted by the cathode. These rays are cathode rays. Properties of cathode rays Cathode rays travel in straight lines. When an opaque object is placed in the path of the cathode rays, a shadow is cast on the glass wall opposite to the cathode. This shows that cathode rays travel in straight lines. Cathode rays consist of negatively charged particles. The rays deflect towards the positive plate when the tube is exposed to an electric field. This is because the negatively charged particles in the cathode rays get attracted towards the positive plate. Cathode rays are deflected by the magnetic field. When the tube is exposed to a magnetic field, the cathode rays follow a curved path showing that they are deflected by the magnetic field. Cathode rays produce X-rays when they impinge on a metal with a high atomic weight. Cathode rays travel with a high speed almost equal to the speed of the light and hence possess kinetic energy. When cathode rays are made to fall on a paddle wheel, a wheel starts rotating showing that the rays possess kinetic energy.